first uh, first of all, Guy, just on the performance on Friday night, were you happy with it and uh, room for improvement again against Milton Treviso this weekend? Yeah, exactly. I think you probably you know hit the nail on the head. We are happy with it. Um, you know, it's good to go across to Cardiff and get a win with a sort of a young and inexperienced side. And um, I think we'll definitely have to make some improvements, certainly on the second half performance, um, if we want to continue on you know winning ways against a tough Treviso side. I suppose that's the the, the, the main part at, at the moment is for the younger experienced lads to get that experience, but also to stand up and perform when they're needed to. Exactly in a tough environment, you know, away in Cardiff, uh, Cardiff Arms Park, and it was sort of tough underfoot as well. So I think there's a good mix as well of older guys. You know, Leo Cullen was in there, sort of, and he, you know he was uh, excellent as captain and, and in his in his performance. So you know, having that sort of mix of uh, I guess the inexperienced guys with, with some more experienced ones is, is is really beneficial, especially over somewhere you know over somewhere like Cardiff where it's a tough place to go. What kind of a threat do you expect to Benetton Treviso? I suppose yeah, it's a really strong physical side. I think you know year on year they've um, since they've been in the Pro 12, their performances have improved uh, you know dramatically really, and they've got a really good depth in their squad now. And I think you'll see by the numbers obviously that are in the Italy squad, but also I guess they've got some guys on the fringes of that squad as well who will be coming back into contention for for this weekend. So we expecting a really uh, tough physical game. I think they're a well-coached side as well. I think Franco Smith's done a great job there. Just looking back on the, the Ireland game yesterday, obviously some of the Leinster lads picking up injuries. Have you mm. any communication on those? Johnny Sexton and Sean O'Brien, those yet? No, not yet. So I think they're all they're all due to have scans and stuff. So we'll obviously be uh, be, be waiting with, you know, with bated breath as, as much as the Ireland management will because um, certainly they're important for us uh, in, in weeks to come as well. Obviously a disappointing result yesterday against England. Yeah, disappointing. I think it was, a, again, you know, the conditions weren't ideal and it was... Um, I guess the team that made the least mistakes was probably going to win the game and, and, and that's how it turned out. So um, I think disappointing and you could see by the players' reaction afterwards they were disappointed. Uh, but again, you know, still three games to go and uh, plenty to play for. Uh, the RDS on Saturday and it's a specific day out for yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, as in for, for Ladies Day and so yeah, which is fantastic. Obviously, I think it's uh, something that's been you know really taken off over the last couple of seasons, and we're obviously you know fully fully behind it for you know for, for the obvious reasons uh, of of the um, you know breast cancer, and uh, it's important that we get a you know a good turnout for the for the team and and you know playing in a home game in a big game, but also for for that reason alone, you know it's a it's a big day for us.